hello everyone hope you're right in today's video i'm going to show you how my garden is doing at the end of october so this is my front garden as you can see the plants are still looking really beautiful and they are doing really really well starting here in this border i had a nasturtium vine in the summer which bloomed absolutely beautiful for me all summer long i had already pulled out when it was done and now some nasturtium seedlings have started growing by the seeds which were self-sown here is my eunomans plant which is doing really well it has grown a lot this year i when i planted it it was really really small i have planted this geranium plant here earlier i had it in a container and i kept it in the container all summer long but now i have moved this geranium plant here in my front border this is basically a ground cover plant so i think it should fill up this part and should make a nice ground cover here here in this container i have snapdragon plants which i started from seeds they are still doing really well you can see they are loaded with blooms i'm really happy with how they are doing and i will absolutely grow them next year they are really nice and easy plants to grow and they reward you abundantly with really beautiful blooms you can pick these blooms you can use in cut flower arrangements they are really beautiful and eye-catching plants so if you haven't grown snapdragons before i will highly recommend that you do grow them and they are really easy to grow from seeds i have got a video where i shared how i grew mine from seeds moving on i have these rose plants there are two rose plants one is with red blooms and one is with pink blooms they were loaded with blooms all summer long and this is actually the second flush of blooms which they are having and now they are shedding their leaves and the blooms are nearly done so they are looking a little bit bare but they did absolutely beautiful all summer long next i have got this clematis wine which i wanted to uh, train up the fence it didn't really do well when i planted it it withered a little bit and then it has rebounded and now it's blooming you can see they have these really beautiful pink huge blooms and now i'm thinking to shift this clematis vine over to the next side where i had my nasturtium vine closer to the pole so i can train it off the fence here i have got this ornamental grass which i had in a different spot earlier and now i have moved it here and i think this is looking really beautiful in this part in this part it's more prominent and filling up really nicely next to the ornamental grass i have this spiria plant which have really beautiful pink blooms and it was loaded with blooms all summer long and now it's having some fall color it's looking really beautiful next to the pole i have got this evergreen shrub which is camellia japonica it bears really beautiful white flowers early in the spring i planted it this year and it was really small and it has grown a huge i expect to see some flowers next year moving on i have this beautiful hosta plant which is looking a bit tired because of the weather it's dying now so it will die back completely and will come back next year next i have got this neum oleander plant which has grown nicely for me but it didn't bloom really well but i like this plant due to its leaf texture and i think it complements the bold foliage of hosta plant really well in the corner i have planted solidago plants which had really beautiful golden blooms all summer long and now they are faded so i'll cut it back and it will come back next year next i have got this really beautiful acer tree which has got really beautiful fall color it looked absolutely adorable all summer long with its red foliage and now it has started turning orange i really like it and i hope it grows well for me and fill up this pot really nicely i have another hosta plant here which is looking tired so i will leave it until it dies back and next year we can see it growing back so i really like my hosta plants and the bold beautiful foliage so i think they fill up the borders really well Next to the hosta plant, I have this beautiful hookra purple palace, which is really beautiful. I have three plants, two in this border and one on the other side. And I think they complement the green foliage of other plants really well. Moving on, I have this really beautiful 
hydrangea microphylla plant this is from last year and you can see it has grown huge it is loaded with blooms it starts blooming blue and then it shifted to purple light pink and now it's getting darker pink so i really like the colors and variation colors that comes with progressing seasons so this is my favorite plant of my garden i really like this plant and i want to grow more of these if i have this space next to hydrangea i have this salvia nemorosa plant which have really beautiful spikes of blue flowers they looked really adorable all summer long and now they have still got these spikes but they are not bearing any more color and this plant is my second favorite and i do want to grow more of this plant in other spots of my garden moving on i have planted this really beautiful heather plant in this container i really adore this plant this was the gift from one of my friends and this is another really pretty plant moving on i have this patch of phlox plants with one hookra purple palace plant these phlox plants i started from bare roots and they started blooming in july somewhere and now the blooms are faded they have really beautiful pink blooms and i really like these plants as well next in the container i have got marigold plants which are still doing really well they are looking really pretty and i don't want to pull them out so i will leave them as long as they are looking pretty next i have got this fuchsia plant this plant suffered a lot of damage last winter but it has rebounded really well and it has still got lots of blooms i really like fuchsia plants and i started growing more fuchsia plants from cuttings so i have got a video on growing fuchsia plants from cuttings so if you are interested i will include the link in the description box so you can check out so these were my side borders and now moving on to squares i have got this beautiful hydrangea plant in this square this is hydrangea paniculata it starts blooming white and as it matures it gets this beautiful pink shade and this is lace cap which means it has small flowers and then big flowers so i do have the plans to move this plant into the side border here in this square i have got this plum tree which is a dwarf variety and it's doing okay i will see how it does next year i may move it into a container and plant this square with another fruit tree and this square has got apple tree which is another dwarf variety these fruit trees are self fertile so they don't grow much hardly they will grow like 1 to 1.5 meter i think they will look more appropriate along the fence where i can train them as espalier tree because they have this fan shape so i'm thinking to move these fruit trees out from here and plant them in containers and plant some other fruit trees in their place moving on in this circular border i have got this beautiful circle of ester domasus plants which started blooming at the end of september and they are looking really beautiful they are loaded with blooms and i think they are bringing the life to this garden at this time of year when other things are fading and the blooms are fading and there isn't much to see and these really beautiful cherishable blooms are here in the middle of the circular border i have got this beautiful cherry tree it has shed almost all of its leaves it has really beautiful orange leaves in the fall and it holds a lot of fall interest and now it has shed its leaves and i'm really hopeful to see pretty white blooms next year in spring on this tree and finally in this container in the fourth square i have got more astrodomasus plants which are loaded with blooms looking really beautiful i have some echnesia plants here in this container as well which were done blooming so i had cut them back and now astrodomasus are looking really pretty and these are my hanging baskets in my front garden i had four of these hanging baskets two of them were not looking really good so i had removed them already but two are still doing really good you can see these mini trailing petunias also known as kelly braqua are looking really pretty loaded with blooms and i think they are adorable plants and this is the second one petunia plants are still going strong which is quite unbelievable because we have had really cold wet weather and these are my containers where i had summer annuals which i have already pulled out and now i have planted my spring blooming flowering bulbs in these 
containers and this is the overall view of my front garden front garden is still looking really good plants are still going really strong and i think they are performing really well most of these plants are started from bare roots or seeds and i think they are really really rewarding and now let's go to the backyard garden and see what's growing there and here is the view of my backyard garden i have got a brand new shed which my husband bought me and assembled it for me i'm really thankful to him because now i can store my pots and supplies in my shed and i have more growing space in my greenhouse so starting here next to the garden bench i have got this beautiful blackberry plant in this container this blackberry plant has grown a lot this year when i planted it, it was a small plant and it had only like two or three side shoots which produced a few bunches of blackberries for us so i'm hopeful to harvest more fruit next year next in this container i have got mint which i grew myself from store-bought mint absolutely delicious and i have been harvesting it all summer long and i'm still harvesting it in this container i have got spring onions which i started at the beginning of july and they are ready to harvest now in fact i have already started harvesting them moving on now i have planted my june bearing strawberry plants in these trace beds i had these strawberry plants in the strawberry tower uh, they were the like first year plants so they didn't grow much in the first year but now they need more room so i am starting to shift these strawberry plants in these raised beds i have got some pea plants here in this raised bed which is the second crop of, of garden peas and basically i'm growing this crop to harvest some seeds so i can save them and grow them next year so in these containers i have planted my daffodil bulbs and muscari bulbs and there are some more stra strawberry plants in the strawberry topper containers which i have taken apart now so i'm slowly shifting them in my raised bed here in this raised bed i have got carrots so i harvested lots of carrots in august and some were like baby carrots so i left them and i'm letting them grow and here i have planted all my cabbage plants so they are growing really nicely i started them in july and i planted them here in august so they are growing really nicely and i'm hopeful to harvest some nice cabbages in the spring and i also interplanted some radish and carrots in this bed as well which are growing nicely so i keep harvesting them when i need them and this bed is looking really great in the second bed i have got some lettuce plants which went to seed so i let them go to seed and i have got them so i can harvest some seeds i have also sown some spinach seeds here in this raised bed and the first time only few plants came out which are looking nice and i harvest spinach out of them and second time when i sowed more seeds more plants are germinated now here i have got cauliflowers in the middle and in this side i have sown my garlic which i harvested myself in june so i saved some of the uh, garlic which i harvested and i have already planted it in this raised bed i have also interplanted some coriander cilantro seeds between cauliflower plants so they are growing nicely so i keep harvesting some cilantro when i need it on the other side of the raised bed i have divided my ever bearing strawberry plant and i have planted them here on this side of raised bed so this line has got like strawberry plants which are ever bearing so my strawberry plant was really or like three or four years and i divided it and now i have planted those here in this crop planter i have got petunias and alisum alisum is almost done so i will pull it out soon petunias are still going strong moving on in these containers i have planted pansy plants which i started from seed in july so i have planted these pansy plants so they will keep growing and hopefully they will start blooming in spring for me and i have also got this kiwi plant in this container kiwi plant didn't do really well for me this year so i'm watching it i'll see how it grows next year so this is the overall view of my garden at the moment and moving on to this corner i have got a blueberry plant which has got really beautiful fall colored leaves so it has started shedding its leaves and you can see these 
leaves have got really beautiful fall color so i'm hopeful to harvest some nice blueberries next year and i have also got an astrachum vine which is still going strong marigolds looking good this is the sunflowers which my daughter grew so they are doing really well another nasturtium wine and this is the raspberry and loganberry plants in this container this is my compost bin so all the plants are looking good i'm letting them grow as long as they can and as the frost hits then i will have to pull them out here in the greenhouse i am overwintering lots of plants this is my lemon plant lemon tree doing good next i have got pepper plants some are bell peppers and some are hot peppers in this grow bag they are doing well for me my pepper plants have been really slow this year they got stunted somehow and they didn't recover until august so they are growing slowly so i'm overwintering them to see if they can come back next year some tomato plants which i started from suckers they are still going good I have also got some eggplants which I am trying to overwinter so I can see if they can survive the winter under the cover here. Here I have got some petunias and geranium plants which I am trying to overwinter. These are more pansy plants which I started from seed. More strawberry plants which I started from runners this year. These are the foxgloves which I started from seeds. So I grew lots of perennial plants from seeds as well. Some of them I have already planted in my front garden and some are still sitting here. These are lavenders and echinaceas perennial plants. I also started these from seed and more geranium plants and petunia cuttings which I'm trying to overwinter. So lots of plants in the greenhouse. Greenhouse is full at the moment. I'm trying to overwinter as many plants as possible. I'm not sure whether they will survive the winter or not because this is an unheated greenhouse. So we'll see what happens. These are more pepper plants and this is my orange tree. It has got some nice little fruit so we'll see how it grows. And next I have got my kumquat tree. I have harvested all of the kumquats from it this year and let's see how it grows. So things are still going good. Plants are looking good. I am trying to overwinter as many plants as possible and I will also be starting lots of plants from seeds next year. So this garden is really producing for me. It has rewarded me abundantly. I have really enjoyed growing all these plants. So this is a small scale vegetable garden, not a huge garden and I'm still producing lots of vegetables which are enough for my family's need. So I will highly recommend that if you do want to start a vegetable garden, please start it now if even in the containers if you want to do it in the containers you can grow vegetables in containers they are really delicious and reward you abundantly so i'm hopeful that you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos you can also join my channel for extra perks thank you very much for watching today see you next time bye